Um, I want to thank Nick for those kind remarks and, much more importantly, present him on his last day with a special gift. The U.S. commitment to religious freedom encompasses all religions, and we vigorously take up the cause of uh, Muslims, Jews, Buddhists, Baha'is, Hindus, and others, and certainly Christians. The United States is a country of many faiths. Freedom of religion and belief is deeply ingrained as one of our core values, and the United States will stand firmly uh, with many other countries on the side of religious freedom uh, wherever it is threatened. The mandate that, that brought it about seems to support that view. Do you agree with between church and state in the United States, particularly with the emphasis in the mandate on Christianity? We have joined uh, with the OSCE countries in raising concerns about the draft law. We've worked with many other countries. We've, we're working with those elements of Russian society that are supportive of religious pluralism and tolerance. Uh, and I want to reiterate that, uh, as I know uh, Nick Burns has done from this podium several times, uh, we hope that President Yeltsin will do everything possible to prevent this bill from <coughs> becoming law. committee who has been a step. There are hundreds of Catholics and Protestants who've been sentenced to long prison terms for practicing their religious faith in China. Regrettably, the situation is even getting worse. Yes. That uh, these have uh, a real impact. Of any of the religious groups in the world. The, folk the shining of a spotlight on uh, issues of human rights abuse is one of the major instruments for um, promoting human rights uh, in our world. Between church and state in the United States, particularly with the emphasis